The Great Laxey Mines Complex, which at its height employed 600 men. Named after the wife of the governor, Charles Hope, the Laxey Wheel, the Lady Isabella, is 72 feet in diameter and 6 feet wide. It was designed by Robert Casement and completed in 1854. Casement was a local man, born in Lonnon in 1815. He came up with the idea of damming the rivers and creating a system of lades to collect the water and deliver it to the wheel system. The lades were channels cut into the hillside and where this wasn't possible, they were made from timber. The longest lade started in Glenroy and ran across the hillside for four miles. You can still see remnants along some of the footpaths. It's powered by water taken from the surrounding area and sometimes further afield from streams and springs. This water is collected in a cistern above the level of the wheel. A closed pipe connects the cistern to the top of the wheel. Thus, the water flows up the tower as an inverted siphon. The water goes into the 168 buckets around the wheel and the wheel turns at three revolutions a minute. Each bucket held 24 gallons of water. A water-powered wheel was chosen because the island didn't have enough coal to power a steam-driven wheel. In its spectacular location, a narrow staircase enables visitors to climb right to the top. A view of the 200-yard-long rod duct to the T-rocker, which changed horizontal movement into vertical movement of the pump rod in the shaft. The wheel's action was able to draw the water out of the mines below to enable work to continue. And it was a tremendous depth the mine reached. The deepest was 302 fathoms, that's 1,812 feet. Just below the wheel, a collection of miners' cottages, known as Hammonegg Terrace. Below the main road lie the washing floors, which were opened in 1848, where the metal ores ripped out of the earth were cleaned. The smaller water wheel is called the Lady Evelyn, named after a great supporter of the Laxey Mines research team, Evelyn Jones. <laughs> <laughs>